the prime factors of 12 12 equal 4 times 3 and 4 equal 2 times 2 and then write 3 so 12 equal 2 times 2 times 3 the prime factors of 12 are 2 times 2 times 3 little p 2 and 3 over 4 plus space equal 5 and half we can find this number by find the difference between 5 and half and 2 and 3 over 4 we can find the difference by write 4 here in numerator because 2 and 4 the least common multiplication between them equal 4 2 times 2 equal 4 and 1 times 2 equal 2 and then find the difference between two numbers subtract by 2 and 3 over 4 but 2 minus 3 we can't do it so we must borrow 1 borrow 1 from 5 would be 4 and 1 would be 4 over 4 plus 2 over 4 will be 6 over 4 subtract 2 and 3 over 4 4 minus 2 equal 2 and uh, 6 minus 3 equal 3 and then write 4 in numerator the result will be 2 and 3 fourths Question letter C. In the algebraic expression 5p plus 6, the absolute term here it will be 6. 6, we called it absolute term or constant. Question letter D. The algebraic expression represent half the difference between number E, number A and 7. Half the difference between number A and 7. It will be half of the difference between number A and 7. Letter E. 3 power 2. It will be 9. And 2 power 3 will be 8. 2 times itself 3 times. And then this number will be greater than. Letter F. A space doesn't have vertical axis. We will choose what? Bar graph dot bullet double of bar graph okay vertical axis it's meaning this is such as that why why we call that vertical axis doesn't have vertical axis dot bullet the dot bullet here choosing dot bullet because dot bullet it's meaning a number line and write all numbers here and dot out here up so the dot bullet the bullet doesn't have vertical axis vertical axis it will be y such as that this in graphical x and y y we call it vertical axis and x we call it horizontal axis next question question little g the best graph represent a number of pupils whose height range from 150 to 160 histogram use the histogram here because histogram we used it uh, two uh, examples we have interval here from 150 to 160 so you must choose histogram it's the beast okay the beast graph to present the number of pupils whose height range from 150 to 160 use histogram next uh, question second complete five times the sum of three and six we use the here distributive properties We have five for that uh, sum of three six five multiplication by three and five multiplication by six. Which shall let be the greatest common factor uh, relatively prime numbers is one. In relatively prime numbers can divide it by one only, such as that uh, two and what two and we can choose 9, okay, 2 and 9, we call it relatively prime numbers, the height common factor between them equal 1. Which are letter C. Uh, like term is in the algebraic expression, it will be 6x and 2x. 6x and 2x. Which are letter D. If the side length of square is s centimeter, then the perimeter of square, it will be 4s. We know all sides of square are equal in length then the parameter of square it will be 4s okay choose 4s right here 4s it's a parameter 
which shall let our e eight times eight times eight it will be eight power three it's meaning eight times itself three times which shall let our f if eight m equal 16 then m will be equal 16 divided by 8 equal to m equal to which shall letter g do you like the red color it will be what this question we called it statical or not statical not statical the, uh, the description here do you like the red color yes or not yes we have one only here a solution Okay, so it's not uh, statical. We can write here non statical. Question in number letter H. The range can't be found using a histogram. The range can't be found using Right here, histogram. Question third The largest negative integer is negative one. Right, negative one. Letter P, one is not natural number or integer or even number it will be even number because one is oot. Letter C, the graph of the inequality x greater than three and x less than three on the number line are similar in space three doesn't belong to any of them. It shows the first solution here. Which are letter D, which of the following values in the solution to inequality x greater than or equal to 5, it will be 6, 5, 6, 7, 8 to infinity. Which are letter E, the equation that x is multiplied by 2 and then 8, 5, it will be y equal multiply by 2, it will be 2x at 2, 5. Letter F. The median of the values 4, 9, 1, 1, 2, we can arrange on the values 1, 1, 2, 4, 7, and 9, and then we can find the median, one, uh, 2 plus 4 equals 6, divided by 2 to find the median, 6 uh, divided by 2 equals 3, the median, which shall letter G, the outliers of the values represent here, we haven't Otler, okay? We haven't here Otler. Uh, all the results behind the, them, and we haven't the greatest number or smallest number, and have the long distance between two numbers. No, so we must write none here. Next uh, question. Fourth, answer the following. Letter E. Four thousand one thousand four hundred forty divided by thirty two using a long division. Uh, one less than and forty less than this number one hundred forty four divided by thirty two. Who can tell me the number here? It's the nearest number would be what we can disappear digit by digit and fourteen divided by three it will be four. Four times two equal eight and three times four equal twelve. 4 minus 8, we can to the 8 over 1, it will be 13 minus 4 equals 6, 3 minus 2 equals 1, and then drop 0. 160 divided by this number, disappear digit by digit. 16 divided by 3 equals 5. So remember 1, okay? 2 times 5 equals 10, 0 and carry up 1. 3 times 5, 15 minus 1 equals 16. So the result here will be 45. Okay? Which shall letter be? We have 4 and 5 over 6 subtract by 2 and half. 
we can find the least common multiplication between two denominator here to be six. Six can divide it by two. Write two here, and two will be six. Two times three equals six. One times three equals three. Four minus two equals two, and five minus three equals two, and write six. Then you can assemble this number by dividing two numerator and denominator. Two divided by two equals one, and six divided by two equals three. The result will be two and one over three. Next question. If the height of five pupils is the first property grade centimeter, give us calculate the mean uh, of these heights. We can find the mean by add all the values and divided the sum to the number of the values. Find the sum of the values and the number of the values right in the numerator. We have here 132 and 131. 126, 128, 133, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We must add all the number and divide it by 5. Then the mean would be what? 3 plus 8, 11. 11 plus 6, 17. 18, 20. Write 0 and carry up 2. 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 3, 7. 9. 9 plus 8, 12, 12 plus 3, 15, 5, and the care of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 divided by 5 equals 1, and the remainder 1, 15 divided by 5 equals 3, and write 0. Then the mean here, it will be 130. Question number 3. The school has 5 classes uh, for... The school has five classes for the sixth grade. Complete the following table where the verbal X present is the sixth grade. Students in the school write the equations that choose the relationship between the verbal X uh, versus two number of sixth grade and Y number of students in each class and represent. Okay. We have relation between number of students in, in the class and uh, we have five plus complete the following table five here it's constant e to x 150 x 150 and 175 we won't find the y here We want to divide the number of students divided by five classes. So the relation will be y equal uh, x divided by five. X reverse to number of students in the class or in the school. Okay, all students in the school will be x, and the number of students in each class will be y. If the number of students was one hundred fifty students in the school, so in each class. We will have what 150 divided by 5 it will be equal 30 and if it's students here the number of students was 175 so the number of students in each class will be 175 divided by 5 17 divided by 5 equal 3 and the remainder 2 25 divided by 5 equal 5 okay and then Put x here equal what? If we have 40 students in each class, so the total will be 40 times 5. It will be 200. 240 multiplication by 5. Or 200 divided by 5 equal 40. And if uh, the number of students in each class equal 45, then the total of students in the school it will be 45 times 5 right 45 multiplication by 5 to find what to find x x reverse to the total of the number here 5 times 5 equal 25 5 and carry up to 4 times 5 equal 20 plus 2 equal 22 so in the school we will have 25 students again okay let's look at with me this example the relation between y and x y reverse to number of students in each class and x reverse to the total of students 
if we have 150 students in the school in each class we will have 30 students and if we have 175 students in the school in each class we will have 35 by using division 175 divided by 5 if we have 40 students in each class so the total of the number of students in the school 40 times 5 it will be 200 if we have 45 students in each class so the total would be 225 okay so then the equation will be y equal x divided by 5 this is the equation okay and then you can draw graphically here between x and y and uh, he give uh, us a lot of point here and the image from here give us uh, 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 okay he ate 5 here and here beginning by what the smallest number here 25 okay 25 50 75 100 150 okay 175 200 225 Okay, and the image here, first from 25, no, the first 150 to 30, 150 to 30, 170 to 35, and uh, 175, no, 200, yes, 175 to 35, okay, okay, and 200 uh, to 40, and 225 to 45 here and then draw the number line okay question number four match each the following here that are a represent of individual values here individual values we'll choose what that are e we'll choose dot polot represent individual values used dot polot and letter b represent of hundreds of notes it will be box polot choose number three question or c represent of data clusters and gaps histogram gaps in data it will be histogram okay choose histogram 